Come and watch the grasshopper teach us something new today. In today's lesson, we will learn about capitalization. We will learn six rules to help us know when to write a capital letter and do some practice following the rules. For more practice with capitalization, click the links in the description. Capitalization is when we write a capital or uppercase letter at the start of a word. The capital letter is a clue that provides information to the reader. Here are some examples of capital letters. The capital letters are bigger and taller than the lowercase letters. It can be hard to know when to write a capital letter. Here are six basic rules to help. Rule number one, write a capital at the beginning of a sentence. Rule number two, write a capital for names. Rule number three, write a capital for places. Rule number four, write a capital when using the pronoun I. Rule number five, write a capital for calendar words. And rule number six, write a capital letter for titles. These are a lot of rules to remember. Let's take a peek at each one. Rule number one, write a capital at the beginning of a sentence. The first word in every sentence must start with a capital letter. It's important to start every sentence with a capital so readers know a new sentence is beginning. When we write a bunch of sentences, the capital letter comes after the punctuation, like the period, exclamation mark, or question mark. The students are at school. Here are two sentences about school. Mr. Ken is a teacher. He works at the Red School. Let's see where we should put the capital letters. One goes on the M in the word Mr. And another goes on the H in the word he. These both need capitals because they are at the beginning of the sentence. Can you add the capital letters to these two sentences? Today is the first day of school. I have writing with Mr. Ken. Pause the video to practice. Did you make a capital letter T in the word today? And also a capital letter I? Nice work finding the capitals at the beginning of sentences. Rule number two, write a capital for names. Whenever we write a person's name, the first letter must be capitalized. This lets a reader know they are reading about a specific person. For the name Ms. Diana Tate, the M is capitalized for the prefix Ms, the D is capitalized for the first name Diana, and the T is capitalized for the last name, Tate. In prefixes like Mr., Ms., or Doctor, the first letter must be capitalized. We also need to capitalize the names of pets and specific characters. The cat's name is Puddles. We know this because the first letter, P, is capitalized. We know the character's name is Penny the Penguin because of the capital letters. We also have to write a capital letter for names of companies or businesses like YouTube and Google. Here is a sentence about a walk through town. Ms. Tate walked with her cat, Puddles. We can fix the sentence by writing a capital M in the prefix Ms, a capital T in the last name Tate, and a capital P in the cat's name Puddles. Now you give it a try and add capitals to the names in this sentence. They saw Penny the Penguin from Netflix. Pause the video to practice. Did you make a capital P in the words Penny and Penguin and a capital N in Netflix? Awesome job finding the capitals in names. Rule number three, capitalizing specific places. When we write the name of a place, we need to use a capital letter. Places can be countries like Mexico, states like California, or cities like New York City. Other places that need a capital are names of specific restaurants like Joe's Pizza or stores like Kicks. Finally, you need to put a capital letter on the names of streets like Max Street. Let's go on vacation to New York City. Here is a sentence about the vacation. I love to go to New York City. The words New, York, and City 
I'll need a capital letter at the beginning to show that it's a specific place. Can you help fix the next sentence? My favorite restaurant is Bella Blue. Pause the video to practice. Did you make a capital B in the words Bella and Blue? Great job finding the capitals in places. Rule number four, writing a capital when using the pronoun I. We write a capital I when the I is by itself in a sentence. This lets the reader know the sentence is about you. We also need a capital letter in the contraction I'm. The contraction is when we combine I and am into one word. Like in the sentence, I'm excited to fix the capitals. Here's a sentence about a day in the park. In the park, I love to ride my bike. Here the word I is by itself in the sentence, so it needs to be a capital letter. Can you fix this sentence? The bike I'm riding is red. Be sure to pause to practice. Did you make the I in the contraction a capital letter? Nice work finding the capital for the pronoun I. Rule number five, write a capital for calendar words. We write a capital letter at the start of months, such as January, April, and July. We also write a capital letter for the days of the week, like Monday and Friday. Capital letters are also used for holidays like Halloween, New Year's Eve, and Easter. What a fun winter day! Here's a sentence about a snow day. On Saturday, we had a snowball fight. The S in Saturday gets a capital letter because it's a day of the week. It's your turn to add capital letters to this sentence. In February, we play in the snow. Pause the video to practice. Did you make a capital F since February is a month? Great job finding the capital on calendar words. Rule number six, write a capital for titles. We use capital letters in titles of books, such as Pete the Cat and Cam Jansen, and in titles of movies like Frozen and Up. We also use capital letters in titles of TV shows like Carmen San Diego and YouTube shows like Ryan's World. Let's relax before bedtime. Here's a sentence about a book. I read a Cam Jansen book before bed. Here the letter C and the letter J need to be capitalized because they are the first letters in each word of the book title. Now you add capitals to this sentence. At night, I watch Rex the Dinosaur on my iPad. Pause the video to practice. Did you make a capital letter R in Rex and D in Dinosaur for the title of the show? Awesome job finding the capitals in titles. Let's review the six basic rules for capitalization. We should write a capital letter for the beginning of a sentence, names, places, pronoun I, calendar words, and titles. Let's look at this picture of Betty going swimming. Now let's read the sentence about it. On Sunday, Betty goes swimming at Belmore Pool. Think about all of our rules to fix this sentence. Remember to pause the video to practice. Did you capitalize the S in Sunday because it's a day of the week? Did you also capitalize B in the word Betty because it's a name? Finally, did you make a capital B in Belmore and P in pool because it's a specific place? You did it! You are now a capital letter expert! Looking for a complete lesson? Be sure to check out our paired differentiated activities. Find the link in the description below. Thanks for watching our capital letter video. Don't forget to follow Grasshopper and shop our capital letter resources. Check the description for more.